Hi. This instruction is on the bath bench with back. Bath bench with back is a seat with back that you use in a bathtub. The bathtub needs to be 17 inches wide at its base or wider and it's designed for a weight capacity of 250 pounds. It comes out of the box, the assembly instructions on owner's manual, the seat assembly, the back assembly, the leg assemblies. Four legs, one back, one seat. To assemble, it works best to start from the legs up. You simply take a leg assembly, put it in one of the four leg holes, doesn't matter which. There's a brass button on the top, and there's a hole on the inside. You simply match up the push button. You see the brass button once you push it in place. At that point, it's locked. We're going to do the same thing, all four legs. Locked in place. At this point, we're going to flip the back around, or the seat upside down, and put it back on its legs. Now the back has got a set of tubes with the same brass colored push buttons. You simply set them in place, push the buttons in, they, they snap in place. At that point, you have a completely assembled bath bench. The only variable at this point is how tall do you need to have the seat. When measuring for somebody to use a bath bench, the measurement that we use is from the ground to the base of the knee, ground to the back of the knee. And this position is going to be on the back side where the calf comes up and starts to curve back in. That's the place you want to measure. The back benches go from 13 and a quarter to 20 and a quarter inches tall, and they're designed again for 250 pounds. Once you have the measurement, and again, for especially in a bath, we would rather it be slightly under than slightly over. So if you come up with, let's say, a 19 inch, uh, 19 and a half, 19 and a quarter inch, the bath bench is going to be at 19 versus 19 and a half or 20. We want to make sure that the feet are always firmly planted on the ground. We don't want to have a loss of sensation due to a blood flow issue. So to change the height, you can either take the back off or set it on the edge of a table, uh, even the edge of the tub. We know that if you measure, and we've got 20 inches, that, or that we want to go to 19 inches, each one of these is approximately an inch. Take the first one, get it to where you think you need it, measure it. And then from a level surface up, now that we know that we have the right measurement, make sure you count the holes. We're five holes in, and we simply go to five holes in. Push the button in. Let it snap into place when you're ready. Push the button in, snap into place when you're ready. Now, as long as you've got the same hold for the adjustment on all four legs, when we tip this over, put it back on its feet, we should have a stable platform. You'd be able to tell very easily if one leg was not, then we would have the wobbly chair. We want to make sure that we don't have that wobbly chair. At this point, we have a fully assembled bath bench that is height adjusted and is ready for use. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the support desk. Thanks and have a great day.